Shalom, Shalom. It's your brother of Israel here. Back with another lesson. I'm in transit. I'm on the way to work. First and foremost, I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praises unto Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakakadash. And that's our Heavenly Father. The world ignorantly calls God and his begotten son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus and the Holy Spirit the ancient Paleo Hebrew that's in the ancient Paleo Hebrew the Lashawan Kadash right it's the holy tongue I want to say double honest to the apostles and elders of great millstone who taught me this truth and rule well salutation to the laborers the brothers out there that's pushing this truth and truth and sincerity and uh, risking their lives and freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akim and the Aqua that are listening. To you I say Shalom. Yeah, so this is another in transit lesson. I'm on, on the way to work, you know, through the spirit. Try to feed the sheep, you know. Yeah. So uh, once again, another day closer to the kingdom, because we we hasten to that day, you know. We hasten to that day, you know. Lord willing, Lord willing, I'm, I'm a part of the hopeful elect, you know. But uh, yeah. Our, our job and duty is to be hastened, hasten to the day of the Lord, you know? Yeah, because this, 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 this kingdom right here is, 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 is messed up, man. It's polluted. It's polluted. The scripture tells you that it's polluted, you know? That's uh, Micah, Micah 2 and 10. You know, this is not, this is not our rest. It's polluted, you know. It's say uh, it's polluted with a uh, roughly paraphrasing with a saw, a saw destruction. Yeah, so uh, living in some serious times, you know. Definitely in the last days. So it's in the last days, perilous time surely will come in the last days. And believe you me, we surely are in some perilous times. The way the world is running, the way the society is running. We got pestilences. You know, this coronavirus is just like, it's, 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 they're not really getting a grip on this thing, man. It's still spreading to a lot of different countries and, you know, infecting more and more people. You know? So uh, you gotta stay prayed up, man. Stay prayed up. Lord willing, you know. Lord keep you covered, protect you in these times. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So and, you know, it's a whole, it's a whole lot going on out here. A whole lot going on out here. You know. Yesterday I saw in the news in uh, what, uh, Milwaukee, somebody shot shot to kill about seven people at, at, a, at a job site. So-called disgruntled employees, so they say. But yeah, that's that that um, that spirit, that spirit that's that's in the earth, man. Scriptures let you know you're going to start to see people die in droves by by the sword pestilence and different things and, and that's happening you know people are dying from this coronavirus you know what I mean the, the numbers are up now in the hundreds you know every time you turn your TV on somebody's being killed with the sword you know the sword that's your modern day gun you know? 
So the Holy Scriptures, man, is alive and well. It's a, it's a living book. None shall want her mate. No, no book could be compared unto her. You know, the scripture tell you that. That's uh, Isaiah chapter 34 and verse uh, 16. Seek ye out of the book and read. Not one, not one shall fail. Meaning the prophecies. Not one of these prophecies shall fail. None shall want her mate. Meaning no other book could be compared to her. Yeah. The Holy Scriptures, man. None can be compared to her. None shall want her mate. You gotta get seek in that book and read. The scriptures also tell you to search out, search out, search out the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Revelation 1 and 3 tell you, blessed is the man that read. Blessed is the man that readeth. You see? So we gotta get it, we gotta get in, get into that, to the scriptures. You know, and there the first five of the first five books of the Bible is called the Torah, the law, the Mosaic Law. That's our uh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Right? Because these so-called modern-day Christians will have you believe that the laws are done away with. The laws are not done away with. We are under grace. Yes, we are under grace. But we still have to keep the law to the best, to the best, to the best of our ability. Now uh, we know we're not, we're not, we're not in our kingdom. We still Baruch. Baruch, um, Baruch 3 and 8 says, yes, th yet this day we're still in our captivity and subject to payments. Right? Because we because we went off. Right? We turned our backs on the Most High, and the Most High turned his back on us. Right? So the scripture tells us, hey, Baruch 3 and 8, yet this day we're still in captivity. So if you didn't know it, yeah, you are in captivity. Even though you see people free to do what they want to do in some sense. You might be driving a car, have a vehicle, or whatever the case might be, have your house, you know? You might be living more like in this modern time, like not in the 17, 1800s, the way things was back then. But that still doesn't mean that you're still not in captivity. You're still in captivity because you have people that rule over you. Scripture tell you 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 you, you uh, uh, Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight. You have to go to your enemy for the want of all things. You got to go to your enemy for the want of all things. Okay. Yeah. So, just know we're not in our kingdom. Our kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. You know, all kingdoms before that what, what, what was erected. They rise and they fall. But our kingdom, the kingdom, the kingdom of heaven is an everlasting kingdom. Okay? That's not gonna fall at all. So I advise brothers and sisters to search out the scriptures. Search out the scriptures, you know, Lord willing the spirit come on you that you could actually understand. Because a lot of people read scriptures but they don't get understanding. Because that's because they 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 in a carnal mind. They're not really in a spiritual mind, you know. They're in a carnal mind, you know. You 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 got to be you got to be in the spirit. It's the spirit that quickened it. Okay, John, John, Saint John, chapter six and sixty three. Let you know, it is the spirit that quickened it. The flesh profited nothing. All right. So you can't be, you gotta, you gotta refrain from being in a carnal state of mind. You know? So, I'm almost approaching, I'm almost, I'm almost approaching my workplace here. Yeah, it's an it's a in-transit lesson. 
wasn't meant to be too long, you know, uh, about around uh, 15, 14 minute mark, anywhere in there, depends on how the traffic is on my way to work, but yeah, brothers and sisters, I just want to encourage you, man, to, you know, seek, seek, seek ye the kingdom of the most high and his righteousness, you know, seek first the kingdom of the most high and his righteousness and all things shall be added unto you. You know, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's high time that we wake up out of sleep. I can't, I can't stress that enough. It's high time, it's high time that we wake up out, out of sleep. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, you got to keep these law, statutes, and commandments. The, the law, statutes, and commandments was given to us. The covenant was given to us. So we got to keep. We got to keep these laws. Okay. Contrary to pop. Contrary to our popular belief, the law, statutes, and commandments was given to us. Okay. So we got to keep these law, statutes, and commandments. The Most High said He not. He not dealt so with any other nation. He He've only known Israel. Okay, therefore he'll he'll punish us. Okay, the scriptures say, roughly paraphrasing, he, he's not dealt so with any other um, nation. Only us uh, uh, have uh, have he known. I believe that's uh, Amos three and one, if I'm not mistaken. So Romans nine and four lets you know that who who are the Israelites who pertain it. The covenant, the law, the promises, you know, all these things were given unto the Israelites. And you so-called Negro, so-called Latino, and so-called Native Americans, you are the true Israelites. Right? You are the true Israelites, if you never know. All right? So uh, I would encourage brothers to get in the scripture keep the law statutes and commandments because they're not done away with yeah we're living in grace but you have to keep the law okay i believe it was uh romans chapter 7 verse 1 tells you that uh until uh, a law as long as a man live it the law the law have dominion over his life as long as a man live okay and uh, ecclesiastes 12 and 13 also let you know that here's the conclusion of the whole matter fear the Lord and keep his commandments okay so like I say I encourage brothers and sisters to um, uh, seek the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness and all things will be added unto you and um, um, uh, come out of mind come out of this mind state man and uh, what it is Romans Romans 12 Romans uh, 12 and 2 let you know that uh, be not conformed to this world, but be uh, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So yeah, um, we got to get it together, brothers and sisters. With, uh, with that, I got to get here into work here. So uh, don't want to be late. So until the next lesson, I'm going to give all honor and glory and praises unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakadash. Hope this lesson was edifying. Shalom.